the eight times that Stirling Castle was besieged. The siege of 1299, the castle was in English hands and was besieged by the Scots, led by John Sampson, the constable of the castle. The outcome of this siege is unknown. The siege of 1304, the English, led by Edward I, besieged the castle in April 1304. The English used twelve siege engines, including the War Wolf, to bombard the castle for four months. The castle's garrison, led by Sir William Oliphant, eventually surrendered on 24 July 1304. The siege of 1337, Sir Andrew Murray, a Scottish nobleman, attempted to retake the castle from the English in 1337. This siege was unsuccessful and the castle remained in English hands. The siege of 1571, the castle was besieged by Scots factions during the reign of James VI. The outcome of this siege is unknown. The siege of 1578, the castle was besieged again by Scots factions during the reign of James VI. The outcome of this siege is also unknown. The siege of 1582, the castle was besieged yet again by Scots factions during the reign of James VI. The outcome of this siege is also unknown. The siege of 1651, the castle was captured by Oliver Cromwell's forces during his invasion of Scotland in 1651. The Hanoverian garrison in the castle surrendered after a brief siege. Finally the siege of 1746, Charles Edward Stuart, also known as Bonnie Prince Charlie, besieged the castle in an attempt to capture it from the Hanoverian forces during the final Jacobite Rising in 1746. The Hanoverians were able to hold out and the castle was not captured. This marked the end of the Jacobite Rising and the end of the House of Stuart's attempt to regain the throne.